Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to another Adobe Muse Quick Start video. Over the past few videos, we've started to create pages for our website and even begun to start adding content to them. And it's about time we start organizing our content in the form of layers to set the order in which they're shown on the screen and, you know, just to make it a little bit easier to work with and manage. We'll be going over how to create layers, rearrange them and even color coding them to make them easier to use. There's plenty to work with, so let's just dive in and get started. So, just like any other design tool, Adobe Muse has layers, which is essentially the software's way of knowing which order for the content to be displayed on the screen. Lower layers will be rendered first, with higher layers being rendered last, and with it being last, it's going to be on top. For example, if I head over to the layer panel on the left hand side, you can see I've got two objects, the banner and the text. The text is lower down than the banner and will be rendered first, so when I move them into the same location, the text will disappear under the banner and the banner will appear on top. Moving the priority of these objects is quite simple. If I wanted to have the text being shown over the banner, just click the text object in the layers panel, drag, drop and move it above the banner. Now, when I move the text over the banner, it will be shown on top. We also have layers which act like groups and contain objects. You can create layers to contain your objects. For example, most most uh, sorry, most people would want to create a group for your content, your header, and your footer. So let's go ahead and create a layer to put our content into. It's quite simple. Just press the icon in the bottom right hand corner of the layers panel, and it will create a new layer. To rename it, right click it and hit rename. From this menu, you can also duplicate layers or even delete them. There's also an icon for deleting them down in the bottom right hand corner of the layers panel too. Make sure you have the right layer selected though, you wouldn't want to be deleting anything important. After you hit rename, just give it the name content for now and let's drag the banner and our text into it. You can also toggle visibility for a layer to hide whatever it is inside by pressing the little eye icon next to it and pressing it again to show it. So for example, if you were working on, you know, a big complex website and you know, you wanted to work in just one specific area, you know, you don't want to be accidentally clicking on sort of stuff around it. So you would just turn off the visibility for that extra stuff that you don't want to work with. Next to that, we also have the option to lock a layer to stop us accidentally changing anything. Click it once to lock and a second time to unlock it. Lastly, if you right click a layer and go into the layer properties, you can also change the color of that layer to make things easier to work with. For example, you might want all of your header content in blue, footer stuff in red and so on. And you can just easily find stuff a little bit easier that way you want later down the line. In the layers options, you also have the option to show layer, lock the layer and, and name it, just like you can directly from the layers panel. It's all just in one easy to manage place here. Let's put these layers to good use. If you take a look at our website in the Photoshop design mockup, you'll see I have a black semi-transparent bar going over the lower section of my banner and then some text above that. Let's see if we can reproduce that effect using layers. First of all, use the rectangle tool to draw the shape over the lower section of the banner. Once you've done that, head over to the layers panel and make sure the rectangle is higher than the banner image so it shows on top. If it still doesn't show up, make sure you set a, a fill color for the rectangle from the menu bar at the top and you'll see it come to life. Go with a black fill for now and you know it'll also, and also use the opacity setting to make it slightly transparent too. Reducing the opacity is as simple as adjusting the percentage next to effects. We'll give it about 60% for now and I think that looks quite good. Next, let's add the text on top of that rectangle, on top of that rectangle. Grab the text tool and draw in a text box just over the rectangle. Now go ahead and look at your layers panel and make sure your text is at the top, then your rectangle and then your banner. And hopefully this should look quite nice. So go ahead and press preview and you'll see your website starting to come to life. It may look like a bit of a mess right now like mine is with your rectangle being longer than the image, but we'll sort that out later on. Now that we have multiple objects in our scene, you can see the importance of layers and their layer positioning. Anyway, we'll end off the video here. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding of what layers are and how to use them to form your website. And as always guys, make sure you share the video, smack that like button, and I will see you next time. See you later. Goodbye.